Welcome to e -Know How. In this video we will look at a set reset latch. A set reset latch is a latch that stores a previous state and it has two inputs set and reset and then it has two outputs Q and Q bar. Usually set reset latches are constructed using NAND gates or NOR gates. In this example we will look at a set reset latch that has been constructed using NOR gates. So let's look at a set reset latch. It has two two input NOR gates. So you have a NOR gate 1 and then you have another NOR gate, NOR gate 2. It's also a two input NOR gate and they are connected this way. So the first, the input 1 is we call this set here and we will call this reset the input for the second NOR gate and then the other we still have two more inputs that we need to connect to so we take the output of the first NOR gate connect to the second input of the second NOR gate we take the output of the second NOR gate and connect to the second input of the first NOR gate so now we have to decide which one uh, we, we call this Q or this Q let's look at that first by uh, placing some values logic values here let's assume set is high and reset is low so once set is high this output will be low because of the NOR gate and then this low feeds back to here at this point so we have two zeros at the input of the second NOR gate so you have a high at the output so now we can call this Q and this is Q bar because when set is high Q is high so let's also on the side let's start writing the uh, truth table for this set reset latch S R Q and Q bar so we said when set is high reset is low Q is high and Q bar is low so now let's go from this condition say to another condition where you keep the keep the reset at zero take the set to zero so once you take the set to zero and you keep the reset at zero so you took this input to zero but this feedback is already at already a high so this output will remain at zero if this output remains at zero it is the one going to the input uh, for the second NAND gate and you still have two zeros at the input here so this output will remain at one so what happened was when you had a zero zero state it uh, kept the previous state now let's see if it keeps the same thing in the other condition too so now let's take this um, input from so we will take reset high now and then keep set low so once reset is taken high Q output goes low and you have two zeros at the input of the first nine, nine gate and Q bar goes high so now we can say that when you have set is low and reset is high so Q is zero and Q bar goes high now let's also go back to zeros again now let's take let's take this reset input back to zero here and then keep the set input at zero so now what happened is when you took the reset input uh, back to zero so but if you see here there is the one feeding back here it's still high so the output Q will still remain it will still remain at ground and then since there are two zeros here at the input of one the output of uh, of the nor, nor gate one will remain at one so it kept its old state again irrespective of whether set was high and reset was zero or set was zero and reset was high it kept the old state both the cases so what we do is in this if you have zero and zero so if you, it kept q old 
and Q bar hold so it kept the two states now let's look at the condition where you take both the inputs high set high and reset high it's basically this is a big chain but it all belongs to this input here <laughs> so we kept even this this whole thing belongs to this input here so now we we set we took both of them high so both the outputs will go low which is not a valid state for the latch because when you said Q and Q bar they're supposed to be opposite to each other so when Q is at VDD Q bar should be ground and Q bar is at VDD Q should be at ground so 1 1 is uh, not valid the state is not valid state so we are not supposed to provide this input 1 1 for the SR latch set reset latch so this is how the set reset latch works now what we can do is we can actually put an enable input for the set reset latch so how do you introduce an enable input so what we do is we actually take set and reset inputs and then introduce two AND gates and then we have an enable here so when enable is zero both, both the outputs will be zero so we will call this set uh, latch and then reset latch so now what happens is basically these these inputs will go and connect to here and here respectively so so now you have an external set input coming in but it is gated with enable so when enable is a, when enable is low so you have set latch is low and reset latch is low so the latch will keep the uh, the old state and only when enable is high it will pass these inputs in and then it will go through this uh, truth table here so this is how a set reset latch works and how it's constructed using two NOR gates <laughs>